Sacagawea's Early Life Sacagawea was a Native American woman that was born into the Native American Shoshone tribe on May of 1788. In 1800, at the age of 12 years old when playing with other young girls, Sacagawea was captured by the Hidatsa tribe that had raided through her tribe and kidnapped some of her people. Not too long after her capturing in 1804, she was sold at the age of 14 to an older French-Canadian trader man named Toussaint Charbonnet. They got married to each other and got pregnant shortly afterwards. The Beginning Sacagawea's husband Charbonnet had been on an expedition with a crew of 59 people in total in one dock. This expedition was called the Lewis and Clark Expedition. On the expedition, the men noted down in their description the plants, animals, and land. This expedition started on May 14, 1804. This expedition started because on April 11, 1803, Thomas Jefferson bought this large territory from the French that reached the top to the bottom of North America and had no idea what was in this large land. This worked out good for the French because they had been looking for someone to buy their large territory. Toussaint Charbonnet Toussaint Charbonnet, as talked about earlier, was a French trader Canadian man. Charbonnet was born on March 20th of 1761 and died August 20th of 1843. He was born in Rocherville, Quebec, Canada, later on bearing Sacagawea. Tragedy Sacagawea suffered many tragedies during her life, such as kidnapping, being sold and married, pregnancy, near death to another Indian tribe, and cold weather. On February 11, 1805, Sacagawea gave birth to her firstborn child at the Fort Mandan that they took shelter at until the next spring and named the baby boy John Baptiste Charbonnet. On their journey through the many lands, they came across the Sioux Native American tribe. On several occasions, when coming into contact with the Sioux tribe, they could have ended up fighting, but Sacagawea, being able to speak Native American, was able to speak to them to bring peace. Eventually, both the Sioux tribe and the Lewis and Clark backed off and continued their journey. On August of 1805, Lewis and Clark needed horses to cross the Rocky Mountains, so they then turned to the Shoshone tribe for trading. While trading, they found out that the chief of the tribe had been Sacagawea's brother. They had not been in contact since her kidnapping. When they finished trading, they then provided the Lewis and Clark with guides to take them over the mountains. While in the mountains, they ran out of food and only had the option to eat their candles that were made from the fat of cows and suffered the harsh cold.